Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 10 of how to use face reading to improve your communication skills. Now, every feature of the face has a meaning and it relates to the personality and the behaviour of a person. Now, for example, the lips can provide information about the sensuous nature of an individual, which brings me to the focus of this part, the mouth and the lips. Now your mouth, unsurprisingly, represents how well you communicate. The lips speak, feel, express or suppress thoughts and feelings. So the mouth reveals a person's taste for life. Now by using sensory acuity, you will notice how the lower lip can increase in size when you establish rapport with somebody. The number of lines increases as the blood flows to the lower lip when you make a strong connection. Now what can be considered the ideal or perfect mouth? Well preferably it should be moderate in size. It should be full and well shaped. Now each lip should have equal thickness, firm, soft and they should fit nicely together. Now what does this reveal? Generally a warm, honest, caring, sensitive and open-minded individual. This person is likely to be a strong character with a sense of purpose. Expect them to be a well-meaning and also a highly effective communicator. Now let's move on to some of the more common types and some opposites. And we'll begin with a large mouth and a small mouth. Now a large mouth belongs to an optimistic person, an optimistic outlook. They're likely to be extroverted and certainly outgoing. They can attract attention and popularity. Now the small mouth can be a bit introverted. This is a person who is cautious and careful and they could lack some confidence. Now here are some more points for you to consider. Now a large mouth person, they like recognition and to be noticed. They tend to be very talkative and are rarely silent and they enjoy telling stories. Now a small mouth person, there's a tendency to be suspicious and somewhat antisocial and they can avoid spending money. They can also be extremely perceptive. Now thick or full lips points to a person who likes to please others. They are often openly affectionate. They are physically demonstrative and enjoy showing their feelings. They can also have expensive tastes. Now contrast this with the thin lips person at the other end of the scale. Now this person can lack personal warmth. They can be insensitive, often have an inferiority complex. They're a bit of a loner and can be unsympathetic. But really this is a reserved person. So here are some additional points. Now thick lips. This person can be noticeably passionate. Full lips indicate a sensuous, playful personality though they can be a bit too keen. They will vocalise their dissatisfaction and frustration. Now thin lips, they are not comfortable with public displays of intimacy. They avoid sharing their innermost feelings. In fact, they can hide these inner feelings and emotions. So a thin lipped person can be very cautious. Now lips that are in a straight line indicate a person who is capable and calculating. They have a practical, orderly mind. Now lips that have an even upward curvature at the corner of the mouth, this indicates a persuasive, outgoing and probably creative person. They often have a smiling and happy disposition. So you see that lovely smile and lovely curvature. Now contrast this with the downward curvature because these people are often discontent in most matters. So here are some additional points for your consideration. Now lips in a straight line. This person is not known for revealing their feelings. They can also be relatively sensitive. Now lips with an even upward curving line at the corners of the mouth. You know, this is a person who's sensual and creative. Curved lips indicate a cordial and optimistic person, generally with a sunny disposition. However, the downward curvature this is a person who's really hard to please and often you can't please them irrespective of what you do or what you say. Now in general it can be said 
that the upper lip represents the feminine side of someone's personality, of their nature, whereas the lower lip represents the masculine side. So the upper lip signifies how sensuous a person is, and the lower lip points to how much warmth, affection and love a person needs. Now, if somebody has a considerably thinner upper lip, it probably means they don't reciprocate very well in a relationship. Now, conversely, a thinner lower lip, this is a person with an overly giving nature. So the following summary gives you a, a quick insight in someone's likely personality based on their lips. Now, small lips points to a selfish, stingy and probably miserly individual. Curving down lips, this is a dissatisfied, discontented person. Now, large lips is a pleasure seeker. They're probably a hedonist. Now, curving up lips, this is a happy, cheerful character. Curved lips, in general, can be a changeable individual. Straight lips, sensitive and self-controlled. And narrow lips, insensitive and unemotional. That completes part 10. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website, knowyourmind.com, and my blog, mikelally.com. Drop me a line, make contact, be nice to hear from you. Please remember, you have many faces, so let's put them to use. Let's take particular notice of the mouth and be prepared for what it may say. Keep in mind the face says, this is who I am. So before we chat again with another part, take care. Cheerio for now.